Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I present to you the best ways to put spiral stairs in good use. But before we jump into the video, I'd like to let you know that I will be focusing more on these stuff, on exploits, bugs, and those OP stuff. And I have so much base designs in mind, but I decided to post this first because I thought it's more important to share with people since it's kind of OP. And if you're interested in this stuff and you want to let, to get notified whenever something is uploaded, please consider subscribing, turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I uplo upload anything. And if you like the video, please leave a like. Also, let me know in the comment section if you found it useful. If, ye if yes, please let me know how in the comment section. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. First, we have this airlock. This needs to be closed with a window and when you want to open the stairs, you simply open it from here. You wait until you get it through and then you place and without this twig, you won't be able to pass through even if you pick up this. And when you place the twig on top, you'll be able to pass through easily. The shotgun trap is to close this doorway automatically whenever someone unauthorized comes close and this box is meant to make you pass through easier in this design this can be used in 2x2s or 2x1s and if you're planning on expanding later on you might want to leave this stone so you can pickaxe it later on this is your normal airlock and in here you have this doorway that is blocked by the stairs and if you want to open it you need to come to this corner then you need to select on the spiral triangular stairs you need to look up until you get a blue when it's blue you can open the door and then you can pass easily and if you're wondering how to put those ramps in good use I will show you how And the shotgun trap also closes it automatically whenever someone unauthorized comes close. This design, this is my best so far. And without this triangle, you have three unlootable boxes. One only lootable and the one lootable box is the one on the top left. If you destroy this one, the stash will fall in front of you. stash will fall in front of you but you won't be able to reach the others because of the spiral stairs and you won't be able to even open the ones beneath because of the spiral stairs and if you want to reach them you simply need to come here build the spiral stairs you can now access those three boxes and when the spiral stairs is closed and you destroy the boxes the stash of the loot will fall under it and it will go without being lootable and if you want to go crazy you can just build this and none of those boxes will be lootable even this one let me place it and show you this box as well won't be lootable and you even won't be able to reach it with a jackhammer and when you want to open it you can ca just go back let someone push you if you're a you if you're a solo you won't you don't want to do this because this is not the soft side this is not the soft side and this will take so much to pickaxe but if you are a do you someone can push you through this you can go down here and then you can soft side this and then you can open your loot room In this design, this is for the garage doors. If you don't want to use single doors, I will be showing one for the single doors later on. This design, 
needs to have a window as well and you can also put an embrasure behind it and to open this you won't be able to pass through this and if you want to open it you need to build the normal spiral stairs then you will be able to jump and then pass through here you can also add a box here to easy to easy go in and out and you can add a shotgun trap there to automatically close it this design is the typical stability bunker and when using this if you are someone who doesn't know how to jump perfectly this is a little bit hard for you and this way the the doorway is opened when you destroy this twig the doorway is closed and when you want to build it you simply can go here from the outside and from the inside you can build it you open this and this is your bunker when we open the bunker the stairs will remain in its place you can go down but it's a lot hard to go up i will show you how as you'll get stuck in this And to close it, you simply need to remove this. You can close this out from the top as well. And this one is the one I showed in the first, uh, first, uh, first one. This is how it looks like from the outside. It's just simply a window and the spiral stairs. And when you want to open it, you can put the spiral stairs on top. You can jump through it. And this one is the one that has the single door to do this you need this one to make the raiders spend more stuff on your base you can add the door in here when you open the door you won't be able to pass through this you need to raid this one those can be armored those can be metal as well it doesn't matter and if you are a solo you won't be able to go down you need someone to jump on your head to push you through this it works i tried it it works but it's so hard to to make to be able to make it because you need someone to jump on your stairs constantly and while he's jumping you need to stand and crouch at the same time and then you will be able to do it and that's it for today i really hope you enjoyed i think this is very useful i will be using some in my designs stay tuned tomorrow i will post a base design also a 2x1 to a normal base this can have solos, duos and trios and even 4 people so stay tuned and until then I see you in the next video